We're gonna do an unboxing video today. And what am I gonna unbox? This might be a bit of a clue. This big box sitting right beside me. So there's a couple of big staples here, so hopefully this won't take too long to, to remove. So actually, while I'm, while I'm pulling this apart, I could probably explain. Well, you know now that I've got the lithium battery set up in my vehicle, and I've got the Serbo GX, which allows me to retrieve data from all the Victron components I've got. Well, now that I've got the lithium battery, I needed a new AC charger. Even though I've got the iTech World 120X lithium, which is a drop-in lithium battery, and iTech World do claim that you can use a standard AGM charger to charge them, but I want to stick to the right technology for the right technology, so to speak. So I want a proper lithium charger to go with my lithium battery. And my inverter is very old. It's something that actually won about six or seven years ago from Kickass. And to be honest, I never ever used it much because it's just such a small capacity. So I wanted to upgrade my inverter. So Victron makes this product here. You can see it's called the Multi Plus. So this is a compact version. So it's a little bit smaller than some of the standard ones. And what it is, guys, this has got those, both those items that I want to upgrade to built into one unit. Now the box is really big. So it's nowhere near the size of this box. Although it is fairly high. But it's fairly narrow and you'll get to see when I take it out the box. So it's got an AC charger built into it. And it's got an inverter built into it. It's not just that. There is so much more with this that this does over, let's say, I went and purchased a separate AC charger and a separate inverter. This has got so many more features over that. But I'm going to talk about those in another video. This is kind of exciting, guys. And also, guys, I picked this up locally here in Bundaberg. I didn't think, to be honest, I was watching the Olympic Games. And guys, I'm a big avid fan of, of sports, watching sports and participating in sports in the past. But nowadays, more so watching. And I love watching people that are the best in what they do and push themselves so hard. And there's no better place to watch people doing that than on the Olympic Games. So I've been sitting at home watching a fair bit of Olympics. So if you wonder why there's not many videos going out. Top part out. <laughs> we got something. What do we got here? All right, it's upside down. I think that's strange. It's upside down in the box. Uh, let's see if we can get this out, Jimmy. It's not overly heavy, guys. I think it's 12 kilos. Which is not bad, really, considering what it is. Now, it's a 2000 VA. So, Victron Energy uses VA. I don't know what that stands for. But it's equivalent to a 1600 watt inverter. There she is. There should be some publications. Yep, I can see in there. These are very popular in the marine industry. So all those liverboards that travel around the world, this is what they use, guys, to get their power on their yachts. Now these come with a five-year guarantee. My opinion, I think Victron are the best. I wonder if it says anywhere here where it's made. That would be interesting to see where it's made. Not that it makes much difference. 
but it's a it's a Netherlands the company they are a Netherlands company so they're not Chinese guys if you want to wondering so this is the unit itself brand spanking new look at that you just take me time and lift this up table's a bit wobbly here and there she is I'm going to talk more about this in a future video coming up soon so more on the specs and why exactly I went for this so we've got the manual read the manual before using the charger so I must have to put down some of these stickers on the device to keep the code and of course there's going to be breakers etc that's going to be connected to this so basically it's an AC charger and it's an inverter so I'm going to have this switched on and if it's plugged to the AC it'll divert the inverter and use the AC as soon as you unplug the AC all the power went out then it'll go through the inverter while it's plugged in and it's through the AC it will also charge the battery while it's feeding power to my 240 volts now you might be wondering yeah you're at a caravan park okay you're at a campground you know what if a storm comes through or something and you're running you know something heavier your power consuming off this and it goes off and then goes to an inverter well then what you can do is you can actually turn it on so that only the AC charger will operate and not go through the inverter so if the power goes out it won't turn your inverter on and I think that's a brilliant thing so as I mentioned it's 1600 watts so you're probably wondering why would I want a 1600 watt well guys recently and I've been testing it out when I purchased my new hat my new flashy chair that I put up on a video about a week ago I didn't show much about my hat but you would have seen the hat in the video 100% wool hat awesome hot hat pick that up for a bargain guys $20 what a bargain that hat is 20 bucks <laughs> go back to my video that I did on the recliner rocking chair and you'll see me hat on there I think it's in that video I mentioned in that video that I purchased three items I also purchased an induction cooktop that was on sale and where I bought them from, I bought them at a local camping store in Bundaberg that some of you would have heard of from. And they're called Bundy Disposals. So they've been here for years and years and years. And I used to shop there as a kid. I kid you not, as a kid, teenager, I used to go there and purchase stuff for camping. So they've been in this same spot for goodness knows how long. Well, not so long, I don't know when I say not so long ago, it's probably a number of years ago now. Uh, some young guys purchased it and they started getting in some really good products. And they've got a huge online store and they, and they are selling Australia wide. And their prices aren't too bad. So I went in there and bought these three items. So I saw the hat was on special and I saw this this uh, induction cooktop was on special so there you go guys I'm gonna go to an induction cooktop and I'm gonna get myself a little 240 volt kettle now this means I'm probably gonna have to update to another battery which is always the plan so eventually I will be getting that soon a one to another iTech world 120x lithium battery and I'm gonna parallel them together so when you parallel them, them together, they'll still give me the 12 volts, but it'll double the capacity that I've got. So it'll make that 120 amp battery into 240 amps. And of course with the 120X of those 120 amps, approximately 105 amps is usable. So it'll give me 210 amps, which will be more than enough to run me cooking through the induction cooktop that I've got. Now this specific induction cooktop, I haven't mentioned anything about it before, but I'll do a video on it after the Olympic Games sometime, once I've got it all running. But I'm using it in the kitchen, testing it out, seeing what it draws, etc. So I've been testing it and cooking all our meals on it for the past week. 
It's designed for us campers, guys. This one in particular is designed for campers. So it's got a temperature setting. You can turn, you can sizzle with it. You can drop it right down to 60 degrees and sizzle with it. And it's got a boost mode where it'll go up to 1800 watts. You can choose between 500 watts all the way up to 1800 watts. Most of the time, it's using around about the 1350 watts. So this is going to handle that no problems at all. I don't plan on using it in boost mode. Boost mode can get up to 1800 watts. Although momentarily this will handle 1800 watts, no problems at all. But continuously 1600 watts, no issues whatsoever. I'm going to be getting my electrician in to wire this up for me in my vehicle. So what I'm going to be doing in the meantime, I need to get this configured as well. One of the features with this, by default, it's set to charge at 80 amps. So it'll put 80 amps into the battery. Now my iTech will battery will accept that. You can charge it up to 100, maximum 100 amps but it's not advisable. It's advisable maximum of 50 amps. But I can program this. I can reconfigure this so it'll put out a maximum of 50 amps. Now it's not as easy to do as some of the other products out there that are Bluetooth, etc. This is not Bluetooth connectivity. So you use another adapter and you plug it into through a USB port into your computer through this adapter. And then you download a program software called VE Configure software from Victron. And then through that, I can adjust all the perimeters. And I just so happen to have that adapter in here. So what it's called, it's a Victron Mark III USB adapter. VE bus to USB. So it connects via the VE bus. I can connect this to my Serbo GX through that VE bus connection. Because as you know, the Serbo GX has got many, many different options for connections. And one of them is the, is the VE bus. So I just run a basically a standard network cable. I think it's a UDP or something, 45 network cable I've got to use, which I've got some sitting around here, heaps of them somewhere here and that will run through into the Serbo GX and then I'll be able to then monitor this externally and it'll also let me externally turn this on and off anywhere in the world as long as this, the Serbo GX and I am within a mobile signal area. So I'm going to talk more about that later. So basically all I need to do is I need a battery handy so I connect this to the battery so I'm actually looking into the cables for it because obviously I'm going to need some to get some new cables for this one and quite heavy duty cable as well. I plan to probably get the 70 mil square. I think that's how 70 millimeter square. I think that's how they pronounce it, MM2. I'm going to run those cables. I'll be around about the meter, meter and a half length. And I'm going to put a switch a heavy duty switch on the positive side. So I'm probably going to run either a 200 or 250 amp fuse on the positive of the battery. And now of course I've got to run circuit breakers for the input for the AC and another circuit breaker probably for the output as well. So there's no 240 volt plugs in this. So this needs to be in Australian law. This needs to be wired up the 240 side has to be wired up by a qualified electrician. This will be simple for them. It won't take too long to do. So that means that the 240 volt plugs will have to be mounted somewhere in the vehicle as well. So in the meantime, I'm just planning this all through. I need to gather everything that I need. Once I gather everything I need, and then I will go through and configure this. And then I'll find a place where I'm going to mount it in the vehicle and mount it in the vehicle and it comes with mounting brackets as well. As well. we'll go back to this list what it comes with shortly. And then I'll call my electrician, we'll wire it up and then turn it on and then I'll be running lots of tests. Now I'm not going to do this in a hurry guys, this will probably happen over the next two weeks. 
thereabouts. Could even be three weeks before I'll have this fully up and operational. It all depends how busy my electrician is. There's a lot of building going on up here where I'm living. Electricians and plumbers, etc., are very hard to come by. So we've got the screws with the mounting bracket. And we've also got what looks like a quick installation guide here as well. You can see here with the quick installation guide, it shows you what it comes with. Gives you a list of not, what's not included that I need to get. So it's shown the battery cable. It's shown the battery, obviously. It's shown the remote control. Well, the remote control is going to be that Serbo GX. And I'll be able to control that via my phone or iPads. And of course, you'll need the earth lead as well. This will need to be earthed to the vehicle, I would imagine. Then you need the AC outs and the AC in and your 240 volt plug. Exciting. I can't wait till this is up and running. I can't wait to get into it. Now, I believe it should have been so included a... So it looks like we've got one device missing. It should, let me see what it says here. It should have included a battery temperature gauge with it. Yes, it's shown on here. So unless it's already wired in here, it could be already in the base here. Let's have a quick look. It is too, there it is there. So it's already wired in. You can see the battery cables will fit in here. So it's got provisions for very big, big cables. And then you can see through here, it's got the provisions for your AC input and AC output there as well. As I mentioned before, this weighs 12 kilos, which is nothing for a vehicle to carry. And of course I weigh, saved all that weight of light in my vehicle. I've taken out a lot of stuff that I don't use anymore. That's all I'm going to show you right now. This video on this. Well, I'd say most likely will be the video on me configuring this. Quite possibly I might have a, another video before that or after I configure this showing the cables that I've chosen. I'm very excited with this. You're going to see a few videos on this. And I'm going to be putting some kettles to the test and seeing what sort of power they consume. And of course, using my Serbo GX with all that data being uploaded to the Victron portal, the management that I've showed you on some of the other videos of late, they're going to have accurate data there down to the minute. And then if I want data that's accurate down to the very seconds, milliseconds, then I've got access, of course, to all of this via the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or the 4G. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, it help my channel enormously if you're subscribed. Please put a like if you like this video. Uh, putting down a like will help my channel enormously, guys. It'll help it a lot. And how that works is the more likes, the more interaction I get on my channel, the more likely that my videos are going to be shared on the YouTube platform. And the more we can do that, the better it is, and the more videos I'll start putting out there. So guys, till then, till next time, look after yourself, be kind to everyone, and cheers.